remember back in 2016 where things were great and you had nothing to worry about you and your friends were anxious to get out of school so you can go home and hop into the game and just destroy everybody you would collect your favorite weapons and your favorite equipment and just make memories Fast forward 9 years later and the game's crappier than your local convenience store's toilet. This game is a complete shell of its former self and has almost completely destroyed any resemblance of what it once was. I'm talking about Pixel Gun 3D. Now if many of you were kids at the time of its release or at the time of its peak, you'd either have played it, still play it, or at least have heard heard about it. The game was once a very popular Minecraft style shooter and has garnered at one point over 300 million downloads. And honestly, I'm kind of surprised how such a popular game fell off over the years. Hey everybody, I'm Fry Guy, and I'm going to tell you how PG3D, a once beloved game, became a money hungry dumpster fire with a bow wrapped around it. I'm going to be going over a lot of the big changes that kind of shifted the game to where it is. I won't go into the little intricate details because there is a lot of details, but I want to cover some big updates that I feel have shifted this game into where it is now. And also talk about the current state of the game and what they could possibly do to bring themselves back to, at least in my opinion, a more enjoyable state. This video in of itself is probably going to be quite a bit long, but I mean, depending on if this gets enough support, I'll probably make a very, I would be very happy to make a super deep, uh, more detailed video in the how every single detail or the many details that makes the game very, very bad and what they could do to fix them. Now, by all means, I'm no game developer, okay? I don't know a single thing of how to make a game or how to program a game or how to make any changes. So if you're watching this, take this video. I mean, I guess you could take it with a grain of salt, but also see it from a perspective of just the consumer of the game and the person that's been playing this game for almost as long as it's been around. So it's just a lot of the things that I've experienced and that many others have experienced and that stuff that I like and a lot of stuff that many others have liked as well as the things that I didn't like and you know, what other people didn't like. So uh, without wasting any time, let's just get into this. The 11.0.0 update was something I wanted to first mention because this wasn't necessarily a bad update, but in my opinion, this was actually the last good update. In this update, there were things like gold skins that were just added, which honestly look really cool in my opinion. And I actually like that they put those gold skins not on just the very very um best weapons or just the extremely legendary weapons but most of them from all categories or from different categories got them the prototype the shotgun pistol the anti-hero rifle the acid cannon the toy bomber like it just shows that just to me at least feels makes me feel good that they cared about the other rarities of the, the weapons of weapons and which, you know, if you play the game now, you can clearly see that that does not happen anymore. Introducing gold skins, in my opinion, was just a really, really cool thing. And I'm, I'm honestly glad that they didn't just slap a gold skin on pretty much every weapon now. I mean, that'd be kind of hard, but it's just cool to know that there are still those unique weapons, plus a few others that they added on a bit later that have a gold skin. So I think that's just really cool. This update also introduced the league system, 
So now if nobody's under, uh, nobody knows what the league system is, the league system is pretty much known as like the league or how you rank up in the game. So uh, you start from, I believe the wooden league, and then once you play a bit more, you can go advance on to this uh, steel league. Then once you go from the steel league, you can advance to the gold league. Then once you get to the gold league, you can get to the ruby league. No, the crystal league, I'm sorry, the crystal league. And then once you go from the crystal league, you can get to the ruby league. Then once you get to the ruby league, you get to the adamant league. Now, one little thing I wanna just state is that for the longest time, Adamant armor was the most powerful armor, and nothing was stronger than that, and many things were just centered around the Adamant armor being the strongest. And I personally think it looks really, really cool. Personally, my favorite looking armor is the ruby armor. The heavy ruby armor looks really, really sick to me. I don't know, just red armor just looks really, really cool, and I think Pixel Gun nailed it with that. I just wanted to state that there. But Adamant armor was the most powerful armor ever. Why am I mentioning that? I'll get to that in a little bit. But now that that's not the case, we now have the Champion League and then the Pro League. And I won't mention the Pro League too much as there's really not much to cover about it. But um, if anybody's interested in wanting to get into the game or to pick it back up, the Pro League is pretty much impossible if you are a human being with a life. To get into the Pro League, you have to be one of the top three in the Champion League. And then to get any of the rewards, or the great rewards from the Pro League, like the Ultra Beam, you have to have <laughs> land in the top three in there. And dude, I tell you, those guys are so sweat <laughs> those guys sweat harder than kids at a sweatshop dude the grinding there is absolutely insane i just don't recommend the pro league if you just don't care too much about the ultra beam you can buy it for coupons now if you want and honestly i totally recommend that i mean kudos to anybody who has the ultra beam from grinding the pro league but i mean it's also like it's as cool as being a reddit mod you know it's just like okay cool you have this thing but we also now know that you have no life another thing that they added was achievements and achievements were really cool when they meant something they had different things that you could do and different uh tasks for you to, to do in order to earn those achievements such as winning 10 matches or getting shot 10,000 times just little cool stuff like that which was honestly looked really cool and honestly I think it was pretty nice does it hold anything now due to how big the game has gotten and due to how many things are in the game no achievements don't really matter anymore I don't even think you get notified for completing the achievements you I think you literally just have to go over and see it for yourself so um, honestly it kind of does kind of suck but um, I think it was pretty cool that they added those in there just gave the game a bit more you know gives you a bit more of a challenge if you're looking for something to complete all in all for this game or for this update being the last great update in my opinion this was honestly really cool i really liked it and it was just really cool to have all of this stuff the game wasn't in a terrible state as as it is now and although there were probably a couple things that you may have an issue with for the most part the game was just extremely extremely enjoyable and I, I'm, it was just a really great update. It just, it really was. The 12.5.0 update is one of the worst updates in the history of Pixel Gun 3D. This update was just so outlandish, it didn't make any sense. Both literally and figuratively, because I doubt it made them any money for the month that they had it up. This was the update that introduced champion armor, which I guess isn't necessarily terrible, but the big thing that was an issue with this was that now you kind of had to upgrade all of your weapons or you had to rebalance your weapons, I mean, in order for, you know, champion armor to be the top dog. And now that adamant armor isn't the top dog, you got a new armor that everybody is going for. 
it does look sick i will say it is a pretty cool armor and i was pretty hyped when it came out uh it looked like a very much you know evil or you know uh, uh yeah like a evil boss type of armor it looked it looked really cool it looked really cool and i think it was it was it was pretty dope it was pretty dope armor now is just so weird though because like doesn't even matter anymore if you just get one shotted by everything i'll get into that later on in the video but this i feel like this was kind of the start of that or at least was just contributed a little bit into what the armor is like now this update also changed the currency system or just how it worked it was just so weird now i hated this because at this yeah once this update came out the only way you were able to purchase coins were with gems and the only way to purchase gems were to buy them yeah that's garbage i don't know what they were thinking with this and i don't know why they did that but this is where you really start to see like how money hungry the developer team kind of came or kind of became and don't get me wrong like i get it especially mobile game companies they need to make money but it's stuff like this to where it just feels absolutely slimy and completely unnecessary to do so it's not like this now but just at at the time of seeing it and at the time it just felt really really slimy and i really didn't like it at all they also like reworked the way it you got currency i guess they counted it by the thousands i think i don't com i don't really know and it was, it was just super weird like it was just so unnecessary nobody asked for the currency to be changed like that i think you earned like what i think you earned like a hundred coins a match now and getting those coins it, it just it just yeah i think they just slapped a couple zeros at the end of all of them and then they're just like well that's how the currency is now it just made no sense whatsoever it was completely unnecessary i don't know why they did something like that and the last big thing that completely made this update one of the worst updates <laughs> known to pixel gun 3d was the upgrade system my gosh this thing was so horrendous it, you would think it was straight out of a horror movie man this was some for real ceo level types of lows that pixel gun went with this thing like my gosh dude this was something i i i, I it, I could not wrap my head around it. I couldn't wrap my shoulders around it. I couldn't wrap my feet around it. I couldn't wrap my toes around it. It just didn't make any sense. So the way they had this upgrade system was it had a, a, a weird number of like, it had like this weird number at the end of it. Uh, and I guess that was like its maximum damage. And what you would have to do is you would have to spend coins every single time to upgrade that weapon and little by little it would increase the damage by like one or two now for example one weapon like let's say the ghost lantern had like a f maximum damage of 1380 but when you have it it's at like 500 great so now you need to bring it from 500 to 1380 while each upgrade increased the damage about one or two times not only that this was the time or this was a time where upgrades took time to complete lots of upgrades would take hours and maximum upgrades usually took days to complete and you could speed it up with coins but i mean if you if it was like early you would be spending quite a bit not only that the more you upgraded the weapon, the more expensive it was to upgrade, which doesn't sound terrible. But the anti-hero rifle at one point costed 1 million coins to upgrade. 1 million coins to upgrade. Now, let's just be a little, you know, quick here. This might be inaccurate, but let's just say it was the normal currency and it was like that. That's probably around a hundred thousand, which is still quite a lot of coins, the, <laughs> because you did not get a lot of coins during this time. And when you lost a game, you usually got about one coin, 
so I mean I'm not doing I'm not losing a match a million times to upgrade my weapon one time that's not happening whatsoever this update was a complete flop and everybody who plays or has played or once played pixel gun during this time knows how bad this update was and knows how terrible it really was for the entire game it seemed a little different and quirky at the beginning but it just it was it made no sense whatsoever there was no point of it and it was completely unnecessary so this was just a huge huge flop from pixel gun but this was also the first step into the wrong path of how to have a mobile game the 13.0.0 update was actually not a terrible one but it just kind of have was just kind of has a couple things i want to mention because for as good as the update was there's still a couple problems that pixel gun was really dealing with so for one they finally added new weapons with their new and improved clan system where now you can build your fort and you could get more weapons and you can open chests to unlock more weapons which doesn't seem like a terrible concept and honestly it really wasn't just want to say right here and i don't mean to brag but uh at the time i was in this clan called blackout now at the time that clan was the top clan in the history of pixel gun 3d okay sure it was two weeks but hey i was in i can get i can get to say that i was in a top clan in pixel gun 3d now the good sides to this was just that this encouraged a lot of people to join clans and spend more time on the game with your clans uh, to in order to unlock things and make more um and unlock chests and get metals and use those and pretty much just up the progress and up the quality of said clan that you were participating in now i won't get into the details of how a lot of the fort parts of the of the um, of the clan system were just absolutely expensive and how they're still expensive now that would most likely go into a more in-depth video but I do want to mention this the new sets that came with this update. Now they're seen as the wooden weapons, or weapons that you would get in the wooden league, um, at least in terms of the clan, um, in terms of clans. But weapon, there's this weapon set, and the weapons are called the Excalibur, the Reaper, the Poseidon Trident the eraser the power fists and the third eye those weapons to my knowledge were the first mythical weapons other than the ava and the weapons from the lucky chest that's from what i know i could be i could be inaccurate about that but from what i understand those were the first mythical weapons since those came out and we all know with the lucky chest weapons you're only able to get those mythicals from the lucky chest so the spark shark the power claw the golden friend and the candy baton were not unlockable and i'll, ma I'll briefly mention the lucky chest a little later as well now there's nothing wrong with these weapons being introduced i don't mind that but what i feel this was was the start of mythicals becoming the norm and mythicals completely taking over pixel gun 3d mythicals don't even feel mythical every anymore they just feel really you know they're just really powerful there's really nothing else to them at all and then even then a lot of mythical weapons aren't that powerful i didn't really like the trend of excess mythicals or i just don't like that they're pushing out a tons and tons of mythical weapons now because it really just completely contradicts what the weapon is supposed to be mythical when weapons were in the weapons in the lucky chest were considered mythical that made sense the chances on getting those weapons were com just extremely hard it was super hard to get those the only two weapons i got from the lucky chest was the power claw and the spark shark any of the other two i just was not able to get i've been super close to get it now the lucky chest did eventually meet its own demise and was completely cut off from the game i don't necessarily remember when i just remember not seeing it and actually noticing it 
but at one point it got a little it got it itself got paid to win and due to just the low chances of you getting the weapons and then not only that the weapons turning into parts if you didn't have them just made it super super annoying that nobody wanted to use it anymore so the the lucky chest just in itself just got cut out because it just didn't make sense and it just seemed really money hungry another issue with this update was the other sets of weapons that came out there were a legendary set of weapons and there was an epic set of weapons and then there was a rare set of weapons now the mythical weapons were completely cool because they were super original they were their own they didn't seem like they were a carbon copy of another weapon just looking and sounding different. That's not the case with the other weapons. The legendary set, the epic set, and the rare set. Well, for the most part, the rare set, the rare, I think the rare set had a couple, you know, like original weapons. But the others, as far as the other ones, they were all just complete reskins of weapons that already exist. The Black Mamba is a reskin of the Casanova. The Mountain Wolf is a reskin of the Desert Eagle. The Electrosphere is a reskin of the Fire Orb. The Pet Dragon. <laughs> Sorry, the Frozen Dragon is a reskin of the Pet Dragon. The Prototype S, I'll give that one a pass because it's called the Prototype S. And it's just the reskin of the prototype, so GG's really soft. I'll uh, I'll let it slide with that one. I'll let it slide. But the Hurricane was just a reskin of the Armageddon. And then for the Epics, the Dino Slayer is just a reskin of the Xmas Destroyer and the Crystal Mega Gun. I guess now, no, not Crystal Mega Gun, I'm sorry, Mega Destroyer. Now it's known as just the Mega Destroyer. The Special Agent is just a reskin of the Hitman Pistol. The Chip Sword is just a reskin of the Santa Sword and the Invisible Sword, or not Invisible Sword, I'm sorry, the Sword of Shadows. I need to brush up on my weapons a bit, sheesh, dog. The Void Ray Rifle is just a reskin of the Solar Ray Rifle. I don't know if I can necessarily give you a pass on this one really soft, because unlike the Prototype S, at least it was called Prototype S, as in just a different type of prototype not necessarily just oh we're a different thing now but still a ray rifle i don't necessarily know let me know what you guys think about that if it's really soft deserves a pass on that weapon but it was just a reskin of the solar ray rifle the vampire hunter is pretty much just the reskin of the dater hater and the soul stone is just a reskin of the ghost lantern and I can tell you at the time, we did not need another Ghost Lantern. Reskins were an issue with Pixel Gun 3D for the longest time. They just really seemed, well, it's not even just seemed, they are extremely lazy and almost l no effort. The only thing really changing is just the sounds and looks of the weapons, and maybe just a slight, slight cosmetic change. Other than that, they just slapped another texture on a weapon and said, here you go, take it. Why don't you take it and shove it up your anus, really soft? I bet that's really soft. They eventually just stopped making reskin weapons. <laughs> you know, when they just stopped making armory weapons in general, which is another huge problem with the game, and I don't understand why they did that. Oh, I do. I'll get more of that in the video, though. But the reskin problem was just very, 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 very annoying, and I'm glad that it's gone. I just don't glad. I'm just not glad about how it's gone. But my gosh, every single update we got for the most part was just another different weapon just looking the same as another weapon in the armory. And that was extremely, extremely lazy, and that was just extremely, extremely terrible. But that is an issue that is now gone, and I wouldn't really mind if they took some time to redesign those weapons and kind of give them a proper skin instead of, you know, just leaving them there be. But it's completely their decision. It was years ago once they made those, so I don't even hold any grudges with it now. But yeah, all in all, reskin problem. Holy moly. Absolutely terrible. 13.5.0 isn't too much of a terrible update, but it still kind of has some issues that didn't get solved until a little later or just didn't get solved at all. Pixel Gun still decided to make more reskins with the weapons, which was kind of annoying, but, but in this update, they also had some pretty original weapons, but there were just, there was just still some reskins that I didn't really like. 
and it just felt really lazy and just playing reskins in general was just a lazy thing to do and i'm <laughs> it was honestly very just disappointing just to see them do that like it was just little to no effort whatsoever especially at the time they did not listen to us whatsoever they just didn't say anything they didn't bother to listen to us they didn't care to listen to us so just to see them put out the lowest crap possible and just go here you go take this makes me want to run a 10 inch pipe through my ears another issue with this game or at least in this update or as that update came out was the unfair gadgets at this time with the 13.5.0 update it had a bit of a neo anime type of update and they had this new gadget called the robot samurai now anybody who was playing pixel gun in 2017 when this weapon came out knows that the robot samurai was extremely annoying and since most people didn't have the most powerful weapons because they were worth like 200 gems would get absolutely marked by this thing and it'd just be super super annoying not only that i think the way i think the duration of that gadget was like a minute i think i don't necessarily remember but that was just an extremely extremely annoying thing because the the area of effect of that thing was just insane dude and it was just like you could all you just it was super hard to get away from it so the, the robot samurai was just absolutely annoying and it was just super super annoying to see especially when a lot of people was hacking the game at the time in which you know i don't blame anybody for hacking the game at that current state that thing was literally worse than like it was literally worse than stubbing your toe with a 0.2 by 0.4 lego brick like it just it, it was it was completely understandable to mod the game at the time because my gosh you might as well have to you pretty much had to do that in order to get any of the weapons at all because getting gems was just extremely scarce you had to pretty much buy them or get them from leveling up oh but if you're max level too sorry too bad buddy why don't you go sh shove some gems up here if you were max level you pretty much just had to be like okay well cope and see because you know we don't care about you but you'll continue to care about us yeah thanks for that really soft that made me feel a lot better about playing your game another thing with the update was just the expensive pricing as i kind of just mentioned already the weapons were just extremely extremely annoying <laughs> Because they're just extremely hard to get, which forced people to mod the game and hack and make cheats and stuff. And not only that, adding things like roulettes and stuff wasn't necessarily a terrible idea, but it was just extremely expensive at the time. Like, I'm not dropping 100 gems, which is extremely hard to get, to get like 15 parts of a mythical weapon. And I, that was just, it was just another, the concept in of itself was just good. It's just that really soft decided to use it as a, you know, cash grabber, which just was really, really low. And pretty much nobody, if you didn't, if you didn't hack the game, there was just no chance you were getting any of the mythical weapons. So that was just completely annoying. And I just, I, I, uh, oh man, it was super brutal to live through that. Super brutal. Fifteen point oh point oh yes, the update where Fortnite was popular and everybody was doing battle royale. So guess who had to hop on the bandwagon train? Hit <laughs> you guessed it, none other than Cubic Games themselves, the owners of Pixel Gun 3D, introducing a battle pass in the fifteen point oh point oh update with battle royale, making their games ten times as crappy as it once was. You now I had to do a lot of things, so unlock a lot of things in order to get a bunch of things, and it was absolutely terrible. Now from when it first came out, it probably seemed hype and everybody was excited, and, it, and battle passes aren't necessarily, well, okay, yeah, they're kind of a cash grabber, <laughs> and if used extremely wrong, can just be only a cash grabber. But I hate that battle passes are used as just pretty much your flagship form of content. Pixel Gun still uses the battle pass concept to this day, and honestly, I absolutely hate it. I can't stand it whatsoever. That's why I'm sitting down right now. The problem with battle passes is that there's a free one that you can use, and then there's a paid one that you can use. And if you want to pay, uh, not actual money, but with you have to pay with a certain currency that they implement, 
you pretty much have to buy it or you can earn it away which already takes quite a while especially in pixel gun but if you wanted to get the battle pass those are your only two options and it's just a it's just such it's just a cash grabbing system because you're gonna have people who are gonna want that cool stuff and they probably don't have the resources to get it so they're gonna steal their moms or dads or uncles or grandmas or great grandmas or dead grandmas credit card in order to use it and get the stuff that they want or you can be the sad lonely pleb that is an absolute virgin and gets no e-girls or e-boys whatsoever and not get the battle pass and just stick with whatever loser garbage weapons that you already have the battle pass system that kind of took over just mobile games in general and a lot of other games have just, just gone completely insane and i just i cannot stand it and pixel gun is no exception from those people who have gone down the wrong path and actually doubled down on that instead of actually changing the ways after the band like has died off uh the 15.3 update the update where they um now introduce the ultimatum one of the most annoying weapons to this day. For the ones who don't know, the ultimatum is pretty much the ultimate shotgun. It one shot, one kills anybody from pretty much most reasonable distances. There's something that goes with it that makes the weapon even worse than it already is. And that was the introduction of the trader van. Now I don't necessarily know which update the trader van came out i don't remember myself i tried to do some research on it to see which update it came out in and i'm just going to say it's either it's between 15.3 to 15.4 um i just it was one of those or just one of the little small uh, patch updates within that time or within those two major updates but I couldn't really find the specific update that the trader van was introduced, but the trader van is one of two things, in my opinion, that completely ruined Pixel Gun and almost damaged it beyond, beyond repair. I'll get to the other one later on in this video, but the trader van was pretty much supposed to be at first was a concept where every day there'd be a new van and there'd be more weapons that you guys would be able to purchase. Now it sounds like a good concept, right? No, it doesn't sound like a good concept at all. What are you thinking? The trader van is dumb and stupid and absolutely annoying because now it was used wrong. Just like the pixel gun is known for doing, using things improperly. So instead of just making things like exclusive weapons for the trader van or making it a seasonal thing, they pretty much threw in every weapon known of the game in there and pretty much just sold it for a very cheap price. It's kind of different now and now the weapons are extremely expensive, but it's kind of like the damage is already done besides the weapons that you haven't shown yet. But the issue, the big issue with the trader van is just that the weapons that you, you would work hard for in the battle pass or that you would grind for tirelessly just to earn them in the battle pass would pretty much be shoved out of the trader van for 300 freaking gems now if that doesn't make your blood boil i don't know what will that is just absolutely insane and annoying i was extremely mad for grinding my butt off in some battle passes to get a certain challenge weapon and we all know at the time challenge what who challenges were just extremely hard to get or extremely hard to achieve Doing challenges for challenge weapons was just extremely excruciatingly painful and agonizing and nobody wanted to do it, but everybody knew that they needed to in order to get that one weapon. And just to see that said weapon that I spent hours grinding for eventually just get thrown into the trader van for 300 gems is just super super annoying and I, I absolutely hated it. Could the trader van be used correctly? Yes. Like I said, if you threw it in like seasonally and maybe like once or twice a year, 
have like this huge van where you can get a bunch of weapons for a steel, that wouldn't necessarily be terrible as long as they weren't battle pass weapons. Like, take some armory, weapon, armory weapons that people don't use and sell them at a discounted price and max them out, and people might actually get it so they can do things like complete sets and get and earn coupons from completing sets. But no, they just take it and they just use it as, okay, well we can just throw some weapons in there now and yeah, that's all we'll do. The trader van isn't a terrible concept, or at least it's not a, an absolutely garbage one. It's just not a good one because it's very, very, very easy to abuse, and Pixel Gun has definitely abused it. I remember one time, literally, and I literally called it, there was this one battle pass. I don't remember as of right now, but there is this one weapon, or this one challenge weapon that I really, really wanted in, in the battle pass, but I didn't want any of the other weapons from the battle pass. And I literally just said, you know what, I'll wait for it to show up in the trader van. And I kid you not, like six months later it popped up in the trader van and I snagged it. That is absolutely stupid. Nobody should be able to collect challenge weapons from the trader van at all. You ruin the fun or the challenge of earning that weapon by just throwing it in there for some easy doubloons and being able to be like, oh yeah, uh, well, you know, <laughs> screw you, just take it. It's just super annoying just to grind super hard for a weapon only for it to get shown up in the trader van, especially challenge weapons. Challenge weapons should be exclusive to whoever got the battle pass because that's supposed to that's supposed to be how that works, or as or at least I think that <laughs> that's how it should work, but. You know, they obviously want money and they don't care about anybody else and they don't care about any of that stuff at all, so they just want to get money and they do that. As for the update itself, it wasn't necessarily terrible, it wasn't necessarily much at all either, it was just kind of like some new stuff and just adding some things, but the ultimatum being introduced was just the start of a new meta for Pixel Gun as well, the shotgun meta, which I think is still kind of alive today. But the shotgun meta is took completely took over Pixel Gun 3D, especially when they started adding more shotguns to the game, like the Viking and the Acid Shotgun, which have been pretty prevalent weapons as of now and are still pretty pretty popular and are still really really powerful as well. And as for the Trader Van, decent concept, just abused by the by the game developers, and honestly just made me absolutely hate it and what it stands for and. Uh, I just, I, I think that's just, I think that's just one of the things that they can't really go back on now. I mean, they could, it's just the damage is done. Now, the 15.6.0 update didn't really have much to offer other than this one really big thing. And this one thing in of itself wasn't terrible, it just had a couple things to it that I just didn't really like. And that was adding level 45 to the game. Now, up until this time, the max level was level 38. So you wouldn't go above that, and there was nothing to get after level 38. But now they introduced, they bumped up the level cap to 45. So now that just gave max players some more things to do. And honestly, I guess people just didn't really mind the challenge. I didn't really mind the challenge at all either. The only problem with this was that you pretty much had to upgrade all of your weapons from 38 to 45. And now everybody might say, oh, what's the problem now? What's the problem issue, issue now? Everybody, most people who have been playing it by then should be doing it, should have their weapons maxed out at level 45 now. The max level is 65 now. Yeah, you didn't hear that wrong. The max level right now is 65. So what does that tell you? They've done this twice. So I'm not I'm not only had to have upgraded my weapons from 45 to 55, which was the next cap they added. About three months later, actually funny story, the day I hit, two days after, I think it was either the day after, the two days after I hit level 55, they introduced 65. So that was completely crappy to me and I was absolutely bummed out and I was super annoyed it took forever to get to level 55 and i pretty much had to do it for another 10 levels but you pretty much had to upgrade all your weapons from 45 to 55 and then from 55 to 65 now there's still a little bit more in-depth stuff there that i just won't go over now but i don't mind the level cap but when you're gonna associate the levels with the weapons that just makes it super annoying 
when people said they wanted the star system back they didn't mean just throw stars on the gut thing and just go and just say here here you go yep the stars are back have fun we meant bring the original star upgrade system back by going you upgrade three times and that's how the stars work you go from one upgrade to the next and to the next and honestly i really wish they still did that they don't do that now and it's just super expensive to upgrade your weapons even now and it's the the, the, uh, the level upgrading thing with coins just doesn't make any sense so if you have a weapon that's like level 20 and you're level 65 you could spend like 100 gems to max it out but if you want to spend coins you have to spend like three to 500 coins only going up one or two levels why don't you let it go and upgrade have it be upgraded by by half or half of what the gems would do so say the gem so if you were level 20 and you went to level 65 that would be a 45 level boost from 20 to 65 if i'm mathing correctly so if you're gonna do it with coins especially if it's going to be that expensive just cut that in half and have it be, you know, make it go up by 20 or 25 levels. That would have made the most sense and that would be really good since people wouldn't mind spending a bit more coins if they can just get upgrade their weapon. But for every single level, that's just way too many coins spent and they still haven't fixed that issue. It still happens. It's still going. So level 45 in of itself wasn't terrible. It's just, once again, the game itself or the developers themselves making it into a terrible concept that kind of just really really annoyed a lot of players at least in my opinion i think they did but it was good it's just what came with it was very bad uh remember that one thing that other thing i was talking about that completely ruined the game as well as the trader van yeah this other thing pretty much is as even though it's a completely different concept it ruined the game just as hard and it crapped on it just as hard i'm talking about modules modules are a system where you can use them to make weapons more powerful now anybody who at least has a little bit of knowledge of pixel gun you can probably see where this is going yeah this was a big issue the thing the reason why this was implemented was because there were so many weapons at the time that they just didn't they couldn't just balance all of them at once and which you could have you just didn't i was just extremely lazy of you guys they were too busy about consistently pushing out content and consistently making new battle passes that they just didn't really focus on a lot of the bad things about their game and the balancing of their weapons is being one of them you had so many mythicals at this point that just any of your armory weapons just didn't really hold their own. And the ones that, the mythicals that they were able to compete against were just garbage mythicals. So instead of taking some time or making, taking one to two months, I would, that's at least that's what I would assume how long it takes to actually balance, at least at the time, over 800 weapons, you decided to just throw in modules and just go, yep, we fixed it. No, you didn't fix it, you idiots. You didn't fix it at all. So the levels of the modules were ranged from 1 to 10. 10 being the most and 10 being the least, obviously, if you know basic spelling. And with the lack of upgrading or balancing these weapons, I mean, you pretty much had this whole state of weapons that were already powerful and overpowered being even more powerful and weapons that weren't very powerful either becoming way more powerful but for the most part just a little bit more powerful and then there was just this huge gray area with a bunch of epic and legendary weapons either becoming a bit more powerful or a lot more powerful based on which weapon it was so it was honestly just an extremely lazy concept that i just i still shun them for it because it's honestly just very stupid it doesn't make any sense and it's honestly just something that you did because you didn't want to balance any of your weapons are they balancing weapons now yes are they making an effort to change the weapons and make sure that they're you know viable still yes but there's shouldn't have done that in the first place they should have just taken time to balance the weapons out now instead of trying to play catch up with over a thousand weapons on your game and making it even harder to balance them all out there are still some weapons that don't even have an updated crosshair. They still have crosshairs from like 
but yeah, before the 16.0.0 architecture. That's how you could tell they just really didn't polish their game enough and then kind of just slapped another architecture on top of the one that already exists. Modules are just something that just were absolutely it was it was stupid it's such a stupid thing and i don't know why they do it. i don't i don't know why i do know why they continue to do it i'm just mad that they continue to do it and that that itself just being one of the things that completely broke the game or completely shattered any resemblance of the game that it once had or that once was and now it's just become this cesspool of overpowered weapons and annoying players and just absolutely and just not an enjoyable time anymore man like i hop into the games now and it's just i don't even have fun like i, I missed when three cat spamming was just fun and it was just a great time and everybody played and it's at least it was fair at some point but now people can just slap on auto shoot and auto aim have a super powerful heavy and just go ballistic it's super annoying and just with playing this game for about 10 years now, it just really sucks to see how far this game has gone down. As for the current state of the game, it's honestly just not in a very good one. If you look at it through the lens of a veteran like me, just from seeing it what it was in the 11.0.0 update, to now seeing it in this current update, you can just really see the how far gone the game has become. It's just honestly super crazy. It's just, it's not the same thing anymore. The only th resemblance that I can get from it now is just still playing the old theme song from it. Other than that, it's just become, it feels way more sellouty, uh, for lack of a better word-ish. It doesn't feel like that one game that I would wait to go home to play with my friends and just have a great time and just have a lot of fun it feels like everything i need to do now in this game just requires me to grind my butt off hours on end i can't do that i have other things that i want to worry about other people can't do that they have other things to worry about i feel like this game truly grew up improperly with its audience and it I, even though it's raking in the younger players just doesn't care to a lot of the veterans that it has and honestly a lot of the veterans i think have just left and i compl i completely understand the game just isn't the same anymore it's not that it doesn't give you that same satisfying feeling it's just not as fun now and it's just with a lot of the other problems that i haven't even mentioned being in the game still it's very hard for anybody who's been playing the game for <laughs> as long as i have to even want to continue to play i mean i'm pretty much close to retiring i just need about one more weapon tricky gingerbread please show up in the trader van i have the gems for it just show up please but it's just it's it's not the same now it's not the same do i want to just sit up and spend all this time trashing on the devs no i don't but at the same time they haven't really done anything to not deserve it I understand things happen and I understand that people, you know, need to make money and I understand that companies need to survive, but they promised us that they would be changing their game for the better for about five years now and they just, with every single problem they add or they remove, it seems like they add another one. And it doesn't even make any sense. A lot of the changes they make are just completely unnecessary. I can go in a little more into things about how they're kind of still not listening to us and kind of just how they refuse to fix any of the problems within their game due to their lack of wanting to listen to us on said matters, but that would be saved as well for a more in-depth video. So if you guys do want to see that, just let me know. I really, really would be interested in making it. And I'd pretty much be going over a lot of the bigger, a lot more updates that introduce some things. A lot of the weapons that kind of change the whole premise of the game. A lot of the things that they should have added. A lot of things that they, a lot of things that they shouldn't have removed. And just overall what Pixel Gun has done. And I'd go over that very, very distinctly. And that video would probably be way longer. I'm not even probably. I know it'd be way longer than this one. 
but i really really would enjoy making it so if you guys do want to see that just you know be sure to let me know like i said depending on the support of this i will or may or may not make that video but the current state of pixel gun 3d now it's just a lot of people may not notice how terrible it is especially if you're a bit of a newer player and i guess the reason why i get so disappointed and i get so mad is because i love this game and i love what they did with the game at one point but they just really sold out and just went this terrible route that I wish they didn't. And honestly, I feel like not enough people speak up about it because a lot of people who are, you know, a bit younger and maybe a bit newer are quick to defend this game when they don't really know a lot of the problems that still exist in the game. I would really love for Pixel Gun to just get their act together and actually speak with people who want the game to be fixed and actually talk to the people who want the game to be fixed. And honestly talk to some bigger creators about it too because they're playing the game just as much and maybe talk to some smaller creators who don't have the things that big creators have but you know you can at least still get their perspective on things and see what the game is like for them the game doesn't really seem to cater to a lot of free-to-play players and it may seem like that but there's just still so many things that free-to-play players have to deal with that pay-to-win players don't have to deal with this game is savable but honestly it i don't think that that's what they're wanting to do i think they just want to keep doing what they do since it makes them money and since people don't really notice it or for the people that do notice it they're instantly silenced or just pretty much talking to a brick wall i hate to see what the game has become but honestly i'm at a point where i kind of just have all the things i have and i just don't really care anymore I, I want to care and I love the game. I want to see the game thrive in you know a way that's fair for everybody and for everybody to have a great time for people to feel the same thing that me and many others felt six plus years ago. But the way that they're going just doesn't seem like that's just possible. And honestly, that really saddens me. I did hope you guys enjoyed this video though. Um, I didn't really want. I'm not really one to make video essays as a good friend of mine calls it, but. I just felt like I had needed to talk about this because this was just one game that has a lot I have a lot of emotional strings attached to it and I really wish that they just didn't double down on what they did and instead just actually work on improving their game and making it an enjoyable experience. And honestly just with the state of games in general a lot of people don't seem to be doing that and it seems to be biting them in the butt really really hard. And I, I just don't want that for I just don't want that to happen to Pixel Gun. But if it were, I just wouldn't be surprised. But I did hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you guys disagree with me, most definitely, you know, tell me why you disagree with me. I wouldn't. I don't mind seeing another perspective. I don't mind seeing it in somebody else's eyes or in somebody else's shoes. I don't mind seeing it from, you know, a newer player's perspective. What the game is like. This is just a lot of things that I've kind of seen or that I kind of experienced and what I was able to research over the few. You know over some years and i just kind of wanted to talk about a lot of the issues that i have with this game and what caused a lot of those issues and what they could do to fix it but yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed and uh yeah i'll catch you guys in the next video